Department is cracking down on illegal firearms, and so far they're on pace to seize a thousand guns by the end of the year. And 23 ABC's Jessica Harrington shows us how the department is working proactively to cut down on the kind of violence we've seen today. So far this year, the police department has been seizing firearms at the rate of nearly three per day. They're utilizing statistical data to target their efforts and making sure they're highly visible in known violent crime areas. Our 23 company. Early in his shift, Sergeant Don Sigelski drives through Bakersfield, patrolling areas known for violent crime. Just looking to see who's out um, and to see if there might be potential problems for later. It's just one small part of a larger effort by the Bakersfield Police Department to prevent crime before it happens. Nobody's out today, so that's a good sign that they might be doing other stuff and not going to be a problem later. And a major focus for BPD, getting illegal firearms off the streets. So far this year, more than 329 firearms have been seized, including one this week. Two men are facing charges after they were found with a sawed-off shotgun with the words game over carved into it. And as the temperatures start to rise, officials say many times so does the violent crime. I think in the wintertime with the cooler weather, or rain and stuff like that. It kind of keeps people in their houses, but the the nice weather or the hot weather weather uh, pushes people out. Last year, there were more than 248 shootings in Bakersfield. Of those, 63 were gang related. According to BPD, the majority of gang related shootings happened within a two mile radius in central, south, and southeast Bakersfield, as shown on this map. All right, where Sergeant Zagelski patrols. We look at the stats from last year as well as what's taking place right now. We have officers assigned to each of the zones that's looking at what's going on in our areas on a weekly basis. So if there's something that we need to address, we, we go out there and try and address it. Back at BPD headquarters, Sergeant Gary Caresco shows 23 ABC just a handful of guns that have been seized in the past. The firearms are all different sizes and calibers, one gun smaller than an iPhone 6. The camera probably can't even see it because it's so small, but very deadly gun. Um, very popular. Further down the table, a large but rare gun, similar to one 23ABC reported on in March. Officers finally detained three men who were in the car, and then they found a fully loaded Mac 11. Right now, BPD says they're on track to seize more than 1,000 guns this year. Last year, the department seized nearly 700 guns. And Sergeant Caresco says getting illegal guns off the streets can greatly improve the quality of life in a community. And the faster and the more effective we can be at getting them off the street, um, the more likely we are to have a significant impact on gun and gang violence and, and uh, violent crimes involving the use of firearms. BPD says many illegal guns make it on the streets from home burglaries, so officials urge anyone who owns a gun to store it in a safe. You can find extended interviews with BPD about their effort to seize illegal firearms on the 23ABC News mobile and tablet app. In studio, Jessica Harrington, 23ABC.